Hello there everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, and right now we're continuing with our campaign playing as everyone's favorite national daddyist, Adolf the Dude. But cool, last time we took out the Soviet Union and her allies, and I made sure to give Finland a lot of the territory that it wanted, and I forgot that, actually, we still have Norway under us, and I guess we didn't do their objectives, but I did want to save this for us together to return Portuguese land, Romanian land, Spanish lands, but really the occupation of all of these uh, different states. Uh, well, we won't be bothered with that. R Romanian lands? Do we have some... Oh. Um, honestly, yeah, you guys can actually have this back. That's totally fine. You you allied with us, and you gave up your your territory. Or gave Hungary back their territory. So I don't really know if this is going to be part of, you know, what Germany wanted if they won the war. But, uh, yeah, that's fine. You can have it. You can have your dogs back. That's fine. It makes for a stronger ally, right? And I think that's in Tio know that they probably have this line, too. I don't remember. But, you know, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing quite well myself. Nope. And apparently Portugal's back like we established last time over there, but we have to do a lot of this stuff. The Far East Siberia, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Russia. So, if I remember correctly, they consider the borders of Europe all the way to the A... Well, I guess technically the Ural Mountains. But the goal of Barbarossa was to get to the AA line, Ar Angolsk, all the way to Ast Astrakhan. And obviously we've done way better than that. We're all the way in Central Asia at this point. But, let's go ahead. I want to create... Rex Commissariat, Oslin. I want Oslin. I want... Ukraine. I want Belarus. I want that so badly right now. I don't know if we'll actually be able to get to there, just because it looks like we're locked out of a lot of stuff. Um, but we did some comments to go through as well, so we did all this stuff over here. And we can't do any of this stuff. Total economic mobilization. Didn't need to do that this time. We could go to war with Finland as well, maybe. But, you know what? Uh, let's get, let's finish off the focus first. And then, we'll do another focus. Let's see what happens. Cool. And we are at war with the Japanese for right now, because they didn't went to war with us last time. So, that kind of sucks. I'm actually going to send probably all of you guys over there, except... Eh, maybe not. Um, who are you guys under? Oh, you guys are by yourselves? Actually, that's totally fine with us. How about you guys go over there, and we'll send those divisions over here too, and you guys come over here and do that. Good luck. We're going to need that. Oh, and also I did satellite the New Mongol Empire, as well as Republic of Tuva, because we cannot annex them. We can only satellite them. He looks kind of satisfied with whatever, but... Please, for the love of God, please, let me get uh, that stuff. Uh, Estonia's not under control. Should we release him as a puppet? Uh, Estonian Soviet Socialist Republic. Um, Latvia, it's the same thing. Lithuania. Uh, oh, Chechen and English resurgency. In Chechnya, Hassan and Hussein Israelov has organized an armed revolt in the name of Chechen independence. They have since occupied numerous villages and have damaged several military installations. If we let this insurgency get out of hand, we might full, face a full-scale revolt. Uh, the rebels have control of most of the villages in the countryside and a very strong base of support. Attacks will come frequently, and if we're not careful, we could be facing an open revolt. I don't really care, I'll be honest. I really don't care. Let them revolt. We will kill every single one of them if we have to. So. <sighs> Fine, we'll release them. Uh, I don't... We I can't we can't Laban drama. Nah. Iron Wolf Lithuania is cool and all. I am a, honestly a little disappointed that we can't Laban drum here. Why I I I literally put the guy on the thumbnail Hitler on the thumbnail for this reason to Laban <laughs> ah, I might I might be doing something wrong. I don't think I am. We took him out fair and square though. So that man I want Rex Commissariat Oslin. So badly. So badly. For the fatherland is nice and all, but... I mean... Larica, huh? And we have our guy here. Or, you know, we're doing this with... The Netherlands and Belgian Lord Frankreich. But... Oh. Replace marriage with collaborators. Exploit ethnic divisions. Begin reconstruction. Um... Yeah. Encourage membership in the party. Crush and resistance. Streamline bureaucracy. And we have these guys too down here, but... Carlton Brunner... Uh, this is uh, why why uh sure guys why not that just I don't know that just to me it feels so disappointing after everything after an incredible sea line invasion of America invasion of the Soviet Union with taking less than a million losses we can't create our own little puppet states that, that's just so painful but new I guess build new air, airfields new airfields will allow us to have more planes in the air at once and thus achieve air superiority well I guess we'll see what happens we're not done yet let's see what the Far East and Russia have first let's do Russia the Russians have, have, have fallen into our grasp, but we now must decide what we do with them. Must be thoroughly dismantled. Oh, that looks like so much lag. I don't want lag. Oh, uh, I can't exactly remember what the Germans wanted to do with the eastern lands. Or what they would do in setting up Laban's realm. Must be thoroughly occupied. I don't want to do that one. 
release a Russian public government? Russian Social Republic? Uh, let's do this one first, maybe. Far East? Uh, all we can do is... Uh, all we have is a puppet? I mean... Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I really am. Man, uh, but we do a couple comments. So, uh, basically someone says we're basically playing vanilla la now. Ba yeah, pretty much at this point. Let's just turn into vanilla Hoi 4. Um, oh my god, really? Yeah, they're really the Far East and Free State when led by National Socialists. Here, Pietor Sidorov, or at least fascists, which... Is National Socialism... No, National Socialism's not in the game. Okay, well, I mean, technically, it's under the branch of fascism, but even then, I don't know. Uh, release a Russian puppet government? Yeah. Ooh, we'll give that one, too. Well, Siberia, the Far East and Free State. Well, that wouldn't make any sense if we released them in Siberia. Oh, my goodness. Are these all Siberian? I screwed up there, then. Um... Just release that one then. The coalition will be reset. So I should have released Siberia and then those guys. My bad. Obviously it's not very historical and we need to go to the Japanese, but I don't think there's anything else for us here, really. I mean, maybe I did something wrong, but... Maybe not. I wish we could liberate... Liberate. Or release country puppets such as Norway if we miss a chance. It's kind of like the whole thing with last time I played, I think Kaiserreich or something. You weren't able to actually release your puppets manually. You had a decision within two months. If you don't do it, you can never release them, which I completely disagree with. But maybe that's in the game rules that you could probably edit. But at least for this, I want Rex Komosari at Norwegian. Norwegian. That would have been really cool. All right, everyone. So here we're at, and actually I decided, you know what? If we, I'd rather have two, three, two puppets than three puppets. So we have the Russian Social Republic, led by a pretty cool dude named Konstantin Rozhevsky. Pretty cool. Uh, a lot of manpower, uh, but he has a generic focus tree, which is disappointing. And then we have the Siberian Free State, and he's a generic focus tree. But you know what? I know this con this mod is going to get more content down the line. And I'll definitely be revisiting the Hitler line, the Hitler path, uh, as it gets more updates, just because it could really use a little bit more you know, flavor and love and life. So, yeah, we it, it could really use a little bit more. But I know the dev team is small, like I said before. And you know what? They're doing the best they can. But you know what I was thinking? If we can get this video to, video to like 150 likes, this specific video, I will do by the end of May 2021, the UMC collection, which might have a more potentially historical run of, uh, you know, Hitler's path in Germany and such like that. Obviously, it doesn't start in 1933, but you know what? I think that'd be, still be okay. Maybe if we can get 150 likes on this video, I will do that path. And actually, that mod, I've never done it on this channel before. And... Like this campaign, it could demonetize me, but it might just be worth it in the end. Actually, oh, we also own the Christian part of the parts of the Christian Commonwealth as well. So over here, we're definitely going to need some more radar. I guess the final thing we'll do together is just uh, taking out J Japan. I mean, I I'm not really sure what else there is to do. Obviously, before we you know faded out and faded in, uh, we did this one: build new airfield fields or or uh, no, I did. We did heavy research, heavy cruisers. Yeah, we did that one. Oh, we'll do tactical bomb research. Medium-sized bombers can attack the enemies in tactical positions and sometimes hit their industry. Not bad. It's this point though that we can't. We have to go to where the Japanese. I don't really care about the Japanese. I'll be honest. I really don't. Oh no. What? Yeah, I think this thing's just a little glitch right now. So, it is what it is. There's nothing we can really do about it. Uh, the screen efficiency here though, that is 33, 33 uh, uh, screens, screens. Five, nine, nine divided by four times four is 36. That is close. And now that is, at least for me, optimal screen efficiency. One capital ship should have at least four. Four is good. Four is a good number. And also we do have these guys over here. I did say Rex Komisari Eslin or Eslin and Republic of the Thunder Cross and of course Iron Wolf Lithuania. We shouldn't need too many divisions. Really the biggest thing we need is our navy. So obviously we don't need our navy around here. We could kill off Finland. Actually we probably will kill off Finland. We might have non aggression back with them but whatever. I don't really care. We do the Italians too here with us too. Um, you guys are headed over there. You guys can probably go ahead and do something like this. Maybe not. Uh, do something like this. Because why would we leave Finland alone? Either they join us or they die. Like That'd be my opinion if I was in this position. I'd be like, join us or die. That's it. And we might want to kill the, the Turks too, maybe. Just because um, they didn't want to join our alliance earlier. So, and Also, I think we're still justifying on these guys, aren't we? I thought we were. Oh my goodness. 125. Why? Oh, we weren't. We, because we needed the PP for this stuff. Raise Panzer Division, SS Panzer Division, Hohenstaufen. 
Um, I'm not really sure. The SS gets one point of influence? I, I don't know where that is. What do they mean by one more point of influence? We literally don't have any influence mechanic here, do we? I, I, I have no idea. And Frunsberg, named after Jörg von Frunsberg. This division should be sent to the Eastern Front. Well, they'll be going to the very, very far Eastern Front all the way over here, so... Actually, how, how many divisions do these guys have? Oh, these guys are fighting as well, that's fine. Oh, the Italians are showing up. And the Christian Commonwealth, too. I guess we'll do next battleship effort. Large battleships will be the pride of the Kriegsmarine. They'll be able to punch holes right through the British defenses, bringing Germany to victory. Well, I don't know about Britain right now, but I'm, I'm feeling more like uh, the UK. Uh, not UK. The Japanese. Cool. Alright. Well, I guess up next, after this one. Ooh, anything there? Uh, no, that's just stuff about uh, getting rid of the uh, Maginot Line, as well as helping out, reminding the Spanish about their commitments in the war. But Operation Vesa Ubung, Finland. We will complete our invasion of Scandinavia by attacking Finland to secure another front against the Soviets. We're attacking the Finns. Whatever. Uh, do we have our soldiers here yet? We sort of actually do already. Not bad. Von Manstein, how's it going over here? Probably not great. Become an offensive assaulter. And Fortress Buster. Over here, uh, no. Helmut Hoff. All hot. Now we're good. We definitely need more roads here. Much more quickly than uh, they're being constructed right now. So, Cap ship raiders, keep focusing on the land doc naval doctrine as much as possible. Because that's what's going to make or break your navy. We could do it against the Japanese already. Some guys got encircled. That kind of sucks, not going to lie. Uh, if we're going to fight the Japanese, you might as well do as best you possibly can. How much manpower, how much strength do the Japanese have currently? Air production, almost no manpower. Guys, you probably need to raise up that volunteer only. What the? They do any three divisions? They have... Um, how does Manchukuo have way more divisions than Japan? What? What? Okay, I must be taking crazy pills here or something. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I made some garrison divisions too. Only 20 though, huh? I'm mean, we're... we're what is the AI thinking? Apollos is so bad he doesn't even have a portrait, as he doesn't deserve one. Um, maybe we can do something about this, because we need to... We got a lot of planes. I like this. That's actually very nice. Um, Cast would not be bad. I do want some naval bombers, though. Anti-air upgrades would be very good. We do need some normal... Oh, yes, please. These guys aren't very good, though, but that's alright. That'll just suffice for now. There you go. Cool, and we'll do... Operation Vessel Ubung, Finland. Followed up with... Uh, I'd want more naval stuff. <clears throat> but our ships aren't really ready, but we'll start doing a lot of that stuff. And we'll need some air... Some better ships. Planes, planes, planes. These guys look god-awful. Uh, can we not build in Mongolia? We could really use some help building up Mongolia. I'll be honest, man. The biggest thing is just a Japanese Navy. Where are our allies? Oh, well, I mean, technically we have places down here, too. If that's at Ubung, Finland, that'd be good. I guess we'll go ahead and do build new airfields. New airfields will also have more planes in the air at once, and thus achieve air superiority. Which would be nice. And then, uh, get some... You can throw a cast in there, that'd be okay. And then... Oh, uh, we've got way too many planes here, man. We really do. Great War Bombers? Oh, that's kind of old stuff, man. There you go. You might find stuff through here. You never know. Because we're going to go to War Finland immediately. Hey, another carrier. Great. We'll save that stuff for the next task force group. So, um, I guess they're all on the line technically, so. Where is it up here? Oh, that's fine. Do we... Oh. Available war goal. Good. We'll go to war with them. Yeah, by September. Insurgents, attacks, whatever you want to read about that, please go right ahead. I really don't care. Let them rise up. Seriously, just let them rise up. We will deal with it if we have to. Oh, look at that. Our planes are actually shooting down some ships. Nice. Nothing down here yet. I'm not too worried about the Finnish Navy, though. I don't want to stay... I don't want to wait this long to be over here until September, because we need these guys out now. So we're going to go ahead and try it over here. Just move this, move those ships over. Just move the ships over. We'll see what happens. Shooting some uh, some ships. We're sink, trying to sink them. Which is good, 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 good. Uh, where are you guys at? You guys are still moving over, which is fine. I'm sure supplies here are very god-awful. And you guys are here too. You actually might do okay. Considering everything else. 
Just keep going for now. The Chinese are doing okay. And I think we're done building up motorized for now. There you go. Oh! Oh! The Confessing Church's Memorandum? I think I already read this one before. Yeah, I think I read that one. Arrest these traitors? Yeah. Well... Wait, the Japanese declared war on them, and they actually rose up. Israel Kant Hassan. Um, Egyptian War for Independence? I mean, that's nice, guys. That's really nice. You guys do you, but I'm going to put my boot on your neck, and you're going to like it. <laughs> it's weird when the Japanese go to war with these guys first, before even us. So... Yeah, okay. And actually, you guys will be fine to do that, too. Alright, you guys are down there, pretty much. A lot of you are. South China Sea, let's go. Sure, guys. That's fine. These guys will have it taken care of. And it's no August. Happy August, everyone. Happy, happy August. But I've, I gotta play this route again sometime, someday. Definitely someday. I'm not sure when, but someday. Sosa Giala? Yeah, this area's always been kind of funky. Oh my... Uh, I kind of don't like doing like this. I should just said call all allies in, but whatever. Oh my goodness, I'm just holding down enter right now. It's lagging so hard. Oh my goodness. That's the problem with having too many allies. That's why direct rule from Berlin is so much better sometimes. Oh, did we find anything? Well, we do have quite a few carriers. Hopefully we can sink their ships very quickly. Build new airfields is nice. Very, very nice. Uh, increase sub-production. Since their subs will be vital... Oh, schnikes. My apologies. Now, guys, you keep these guys under control, or I will remove you from the power of government. But, since their subs will be vital to our strategy, we should increase production of them. Only 5%? What? Hey, the first of many naval battles and victories. And we're still going on with these guys. Even though the supplies got off around here, we're still doing relatively okay. Hey, convoy sunk. Yeah, you guys aren't necessarily winning, but you're not necessarily losing, I would say, probably. So. Just make sure we got enough fuel for this, and we'll be golden. Oh, yeah, we do have some. Uh, we can put some planes here, too. And. Boo -boo. Hey, boo -boo. There you go. And naval bombers. There you go. You know what? You can duplicate that too. And then one, two, three, four, just in case. Go that way. I kind of doubt we'll find anything over around here, but it's always good to test the waters before we really send in your guys. Oh, we found something here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, destroyer. Nice. And oh, they do have forces down here, don't they? Or someone's fighting down here. Oh, we're fighting the Japanese. Oh, is it? Oh. It's all right. Whatever. Who is this? 40 combat width? Oh, it must be English. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually really good. Okay. Well, whatever. And we're doing quite well. Actually, how many losses have we had? 18,000 is not bad. And... We haven't killed... We've killed 34,000 of them. 146,000 of the state of Manchuria. And these guys... None. Which makes sense, because we're not really fighting them right now. Cool, let's do that, and let's get some more better planes. Better, 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 better planes. Please, please, please. Kick him out of the mainland. It is September, so we're getting closer to closer to taking up Finland. Oh, well, he's taking off that non aggression pact. Cool, that's very good. And get some of that carrier organization and sword efficiency. Yes, please. That is so nice. That is actually extremely good. Uh, anything else here? Yeah, I guess I think so, yeah. Um, well, we did go with carriers, so... Even more sortie efficiency would be extremely good to get, if we could get it. Obviously, we got a lot of stuff for subs and capital ships, but nothing for... Huh. Screen attack and defense, that's okay. Naval attack, sub attack. Convoy rating at less plus... Uh, still plus 15%. Marines organization goes up by 10%. Soft attack goes up as well. Um... I don't know. Stuff seems all okay. What do you have over here? It's all just infantry stuff, huh? 
Actually, is there anything for less supply consumption? I, I'll take that one right now since we're the, pretty much at the end of the campaign anyways. Um, ba -da -da -ba 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 Seriously, there's nothing for less supply consumption. Oh, minus 2.5%. That's the only guy I've seen so far. More strategic bombing, the kind of... That's, that'd be a waste of... Ah, oh, screw it. Just go with... Spidel. Mr. Takeover Germania. Who do we like here the most? Yodel? Yeah, I think Yodel would be good. Let's do Yodel. And then we'll do... Um, I did go with this one earlier, so we originally we were planning on going down Plan Z anyway. So, Raiders Plan Z will be our naval armament plan. It will focus on a large high seas fleet complete with battleships and aircraft carriers. We're already pretty much there. And these guys gotta die too. Oh, we don't have enough PP. God dang it. That's alright. Time to take out the Irish. We will unite the Emerald Isle under one flag. Oh god, we caught all of our allies in. Oh, it's lagging so hard. Oh, please don't crash the game. Please don't crash. Douglas Hyde, huh? He's like, not trying to look at us. He's looking at someone behind us. Okay, there we go. Woo! Lot of dudes. Alright, I don't think the Irish can really stand up to us. But that's okay. Oh, and Newman Green? Well, there's not much we can do about that. Also, like the focus I said about earlier, about Middle Africa. We can't do it anyways. Wait. Oh, they joined the Co-Prosperity Sphere. You know, that's weird when the Irish join the, the Japanese faction. It's like when Italy joins the, the the Japanese faction in TNO, but yeah. All we get are clams from Middle Africa. That's it. We can't even make Middle Africa. So. Maybe someday. That'd be really cool. Ah! Nice. So you tell them, I'm really not concerned about this. How many Irish have we killed off? Not bad. Not bad. 82,000? 86? 83,000? They're gone? Boy, no. A von Buck. Well, you can call them in if you like, but they're dead now, so. Next up is the country of Zimbabwe, which shouldn't ever exist. Rhodesia is very cool. Much better. Offer economic relief. Oh, that's probably to the Spanish. Yeah, I don't want to be talked about for any of these operations. No, we don't need that. Uh, Georg Hans Hein Reinhardt. Very cool. Cossack Division. Yeah, we don't need this one. That's why. All right, let's, let's, let's get a little more spicy with this stuff. This is not going well enough. We want even more. We want all their convoys, all their ships, all that good stuff. You guys get over here as fast as you possibly can. Here we go, boys. We found a little task force, a little few convoys here and there. Nice, nice, nice. We could use some radar, but we don't have any... Oh, never mind. We can build radar up there. That's actually really good, then. I didn't realize that. We do have level one right here, too. Not too bad. I forgot about Hong Kong. Uh, get 100. There you go. And grab some naval bombers over on this side, too. Good enough for us. For now. Duplicate. Boom. Boom. There you go. We're building up the airbase anyway. So, Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. We lost three destroyers. Oh, no, no, no. We got way too many carriers here. Oh, boy. What happened? We lost three destroyers for ten screens. That's not bad. Go and repair. Repair, 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 repair. Oh, boy. Oh, those are allied combos and such. It's fine, whatever. Oh, oh, that doesn't really matter. We lost one combo, but whatever. Plan Z is a go. We're actually doing extremely well here. Wow. All right, up next, then we'll continue with air aircraft carrier research. Since our strategy brings up the up to with us up to par with the Royal Navy, we need aircraft carriers to be a proper match for the king. Pretty much. Oh God, I wish there was a way to disable this. Oh, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys over there? I didn't even know we own that. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, we need to get rid of the non-aggression pack, too. We need 200% of their divisions. We can only have 130%. Oh, along the border. Okay. That's fine. Which is a weird rule to have, but okay, whatever. Alright, game. Common borders. Oh, you mean like up here, too, maybe. It's fine. All right. Well, if you want to do it like that, there you go. You want to ruin supply? Okay, whatever. Night battle fleet concentration. Let's go with this one. Oh, destroyers, destroyers. Not bad, not bad. How are we doing with the, the army here? What are we, what are, what are we even killing right now? Nothing. Okay. Better carrier holes. Let's grab some better destroyers, perhaps. 
I'm not going to look at this thing up there anymore. So you guys did pretty darn well. But now we've got to do a naval invasion, in which I want to use the infantry for this. Well, S, S, nah, infantry first. Infantry, 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 infantry. We're already doing this area too, so we might be okay just... Well, we already have this area kind of under lock and key, so... For I core. We're really going to make sure that we have all of this area, like... We have air superiority, that's what we're going to need. Um, there you go. Cool. One, two, three, four, five. Go right there. Go right there. And go, like, right there-ish. Just to avoid some other stuff there. Please stop giving me this stuff, guys. You guys are suffering from attrition. That's fine. Not really fine, but whatever. And you guys go here. There you go. Something like that. Can we build radar? God dang it, we cannot. But at least we can build air bases. That's super important. And having roads is super important as well. Any other ship issues here? No? Okay. That's fine. Once we get air superiority, though, over here, that'll be the, the end of these guys. Messer Schmitz, very good. Grab some of them, too. Carry fighters. Um, at this point, you might as well upgrade them. Oh. There you go. All positive, and that's what we want. Airbase time. Do we have any airbases here? Not yet, huh? It's taking a while to build them up. I see. Actually, since we're here, I don't want to see any of this stuff. I'm sorry. Just don't, I don't. I don't care about it. So, CV naval bombers, whatever naval bombers. Get rid of the, the ones. Um, there you go. One set of them. One or two sets, and other than that, I don't want to see them. They just clog up the area. Except for that stuff. Cool. And let's do some more sub designs. Subs are also are so vital to the war effort that we need to make sure that we have the best ones possible. I suppose so. Hey, and they're basically finally. Cool. Alright, send, send in those fighters. There you go. That's fine. I don't care that it's overstacked. We're gonna fill this up anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Find the gosh darn navy. I'm blowing the smithereens. And we're gonna grab the cast. And do the same thing. Duplicate them. There you go. You guys go right there, too. You'll be alright. Cool. And that should protect our fleet. Now, we can try this and go up there, too. Very dangerous, I know. Very, very dangerous. But we do have the planes in the air now, so... Not bad. We should be able to naval invade. I can't imagine they have too many divisions over here. No. They have a... One division left. What happened to their fleet? They like, I thought they had over 300 earlier, but I guess not. Okay, well, that's okay with us. Obviously, our fleet is still repairing for now, which is just pretty bad, actually. Where are, we? Where are you guys? Are you guys really operating there? It doesn't seem like it. Actually, can we get, uh, let's take this back from these guys. We need this territory. We'll take over Southern Korea for now. Thank you, because we need to build radar here. That'll give us much more air superiority as well. So that'll be good to get. Air is looking not bad. Keep building it up, keep building it up. Get bigger ports too. And we'll do continue naval doctrine. We need to prevent new strategies, or present new strategies, to our officers to use with our new equipment. Because all we need to do is naval invade. All we, that's all we need. That's literally all we need. Oh, what happened? Destroyer sunk. Good, good, good. Keep going, guys. You know what? Screw this area. Concentrate up here. That's all we literally need, so. Sea of Japan is super bad. Naval supremacy, 35%. Intel efficiency. Enemy supremacy is really, really high. God, this sucks so much. We have more mil military factories. Okay, well, whatever. There you go. Get some of that stuff. I don't really care. I don't be bothered with that stuff right now. Um, We could send our spies over to Japan, maybe. They literally don't even have a fleet around here, though. Well, maybe they have their fleet, I guess. It's so hard to tell, though. Screw it, do this. Can you do this instead, maybe? Uh, sure. Oh, we can, we can, we can, we can. Nice. And, well, we've landed. Well, time to take him out, I guess. 
Send the SS over. See what they can do. Cool. Death charge more depth charge uh, mortars. Very nice. Subsidiary carry roll. Let's get some more organization and naval targeting. Sounds good to me. Hitler Junge. Awesome, awesome. Uh please guys. Oh, can we go to war with this one? finally, please? No, yes, no. There we go. Finally. Oh god, we gotta lag a little bit. <clears throat> wow. Market liberalism, and they're led by Rusto Riti. No faction, Republic of Finland. Market liberals, huh? Special forces, well. I don't think they're really gonna win against everyone here, but we'll see. And they join the, the Japanese, of course. Heavy armor, let's go fight because on light armor designs. We need light tanks to go around the enemy and cut them off from their supplies. Nice. And that's all looking good. Aircraft engine threes. That's a little bit ahead of time, I think, so. Naval stuff? Why not? Dual purpose, dual purpose secondary guns. Very good. And we're just... I love the Koreans cut here. That's actually really nice. Really, really nice. But okay, well... I, I'm, I'm disappointed. I, what are their fleets? Like, we didn't get any action against the British... We don't get any action against the Japanese. I'm disappointed in not knowing where the fleets are at. Oh, they're, oh apparently they're down here. I just want to kill the enemy fleet. That's one of my favorite things of doing. Is creating and having a massive naval fleet. And just demolishing each other's fleets in the sea. That's one of my favorite things about Hoi 4. That's literally one of my favorite things. I love it so much. But we, I, I can't get that satisfaction with this campaign. Why? I'll go to Nagasaki. They've had it too good for too long. I guess we could have dropped an atomic bomb, but we didn't research nukes. It's only February 43. And Ireland capitulated at the same time as the Japanese. You gotta, you love to see it. You, you, you just love to see it. All right, let's like, get everyone's score here. All right. Oh my gosh, so many allies. So the what is this? East Ulster State. What is that? Welsh, Orange Free State, I guess. Well, we will have United Ireland. There you go. You can have that. Guangxi clique. I don't know which Re Republic of China. I don't. I don't care about China right now. The Chinese do not interest me. Thunder Cross actually looks really cool. Um, Tag, Tagalog, huh? Christian Commonwealth, German Raj, Slovenia. What is that? Republic of Tuva. Kind of. Was this a fascist? Fascist on there? Huh. What else we have? Ah, Republic of China. You can have this. I don't really care about this. Republic of China. You can have State of Manchuria. You know what? You can have that too. Or we're taking Korea. I'm taking Korea. Uh, Mongol military government. Um, who has claims on this? Yeah, I'll give this to the Chinese too. That's fine. With Japan though, uh, let's give them these islands or these, you know, not, not islands, but little areas here. They can have that. They kind of deserve that. They, well, maybe not. Yeah, they deserve it. Whatever. Oh. I don't remember taking that, but okay. So, liberate to People's Republic of Korea. I want a satellite. Well. That's a name right there for sure. Oh, wait, yeah, we have this one too, don't we? Uh, where is Russia? Russian Social Republic. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We want the Siberian Free State. This is such a weird campaign. I'll be honest, man. It started off super promising, and I, like I said earlier, the devs are working on it. I know they are, and they'll do a great job with it, probably, because I've, I've seen what we've seen what they've done so far. So I, I kind of want Korea under us. So satellite them. Um, I guess we'll just take all states. We can do supervised states, but that would not be very cool, just because like we, like these guys are I think are supervised states. So I think I don't know. The puppet system is kind of weird and wonky, but I. I'm, I wanted to be a big old naval battle. I knew we were going to do great. Panzer Grenade Division Nordland, Hansha, Galizin, and the first Latvian Waffen Grenadier, Grenadier Division of the SS, and the first Cossack Cavalry Division. Naval expansion or Navy severely lacking. If we're to complete with, compete with Britain and France, we must be expanded. Well, we got the four carriers. We need twin more capital ships and 100 screens. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, I guess that makes sense. But I, I, we're pretty much done here. We're, we're quite literally pretty much done. I mean, there's nothing else to do. We're killing off Finland. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. Do we get options for... Japan? I mean, yeah, we could have popped it to them, but I don't like the peace deal system. I'd rather manually piece them out. I... Well, Finland should be gone now. Only a third of a million of them died. 
They sell that uh, National Spirit Susi. Or Sis Sisu. Let's go like Radical Agitation, Great Depression. They sell the Great Depression? It's 43 guys. Fast Mobilization? No. I guess it was replaced with Televisodon Hanky. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But yeah, it looks like it. Well, they're almost dead. Shandong, you don't want to go to war with Germany. You really don't want to go to war with Germany. I'll be honest, man. You really don't want to right now. Go to Vasa. Come on, capitulate them. They're literally 99% of the way there. 400,000 Finns have died for what? We've lost 13,000, maybe. That's it. All right. Deren Sieg. We're victorious. We've won the war. Our enemies have been subdued, and we've achieved our war aims. We can now focus on continuing the development of national socialism inside Germany, as well as interacting with the Rocks Commissariats. We have achieved peace. What? Now we... What? What? We had to take out Finland for this? Why? What? To the victor? We've won the war and established Germany as a new world power. We should be using our newfound power to build our grand projects. I don't understand. Why do we have to take out Finland? To get that. We took out the Japanese. We took out the all of the entire USSR. We took out all of Scandinavia. For what? Huh? I really just do not understand. Floating fortresses are nice. I guess if you guys all want to train too, that's fine with me. Um, there's... Well, let's grab that one too. That'd be nice. Um, bankruptcy intimate. While our economic practices was fine when preparing for war, the debt is looming over us like a vulture. We're ready to strike once we default. If we do not act fast, we could possibly suffer through the worst economic crisis in German history. We must act quickly. I guess this is kind of like the aftermath. Um, yeah, you can have you can have your stuff, whatever. Return Russian lands. Oh my gosh, well, it shouldn't be that hard to release Finland game. It's lagging super hard right now. My apologies, guys. My apologies. Oh boy. And there we go. Cool. And they should pop over. Well, Dominion of Finland. Alright, well, that... What the heck? Well, I guess technically this is not the core state then. Okay, there you go. Anything else? Nope. That looks looking, that's looking okay to us. Alright, to the victor. Well then. Um... Alright. Go the spoils. De Ensig. We've achieved final victory. Now Germany stands as the world power that the fatherland deserves to be. Creating the National Reich Church. The Rosenberg's 30 point plan. We have a civil war coming. The future of Germany. Radical, party radical victory. Party conservative. Oh my goodness. Ideology of violence. Closer ties to the Rexico Massage. Are we supposed to get Rex Commissariats or not? Because the game wouldn't let us create them. Why? Why? When the Fuhrer dies, the Goebbels will become the Fuhrer. Uh, you know, I'll leave it up to you. Should we go radical, party radical victory with limit estates for the elite and further invest into cinema with basically getting Goebbels? Or should we go with conservative and Bormann? Or, and when we go over escalate the question comp, should we do Rosenberg's 30 point plan? Or create the National Reich Church? Sounds kind of like fun. Let Christianity die out, though, versus a new rival for Christ. Please let me know in the comments below, which will conclude this episode with Go to the Spoils. Bring capital to Germany and both decrease the relative power of the Reichskommissariats and increase our industrial capacity. Well, unfortunately, we don't have Reichskommissariats because the game wouldn't let us make any. But, I guess, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll finally, I guess, end this campaign and see what the end has in store for us. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.